guys, welcome to another video with me, Laura. And in this video, I thought I would do something a little bit different um, because I don't really have any patterns to share at the moment because I've been really busy uh, designing for a crochet along that I'm doing starting on the 1st of July. If you want to know more about that, then you can either head to my Instagram account or you can go to happyberry.co.uk forward slash cow. That's starting on the 1st of July. Um, so I thought this idea for this video came from somebody asking about um, what sort of crochet books do I use. Um, I don't really use crochet books anymore, so but I do have um, a lot of crochet books <laughs> that I just don't look at but I love. Um, but I do want to talk about, I thought in this video I would talk about the ones that I used when I first started 10 years ago, that, you know, when I first started getting back into crochet after not doing it since I was a child. Um, I I had a look at some books and ideas and things that I was working on at the time and I thought it'd be a really interesting video um, for you guys and it might open your um, interests into something uh, a little bit different uh, to try. Now one of the first books, let's have a look, so I move these to the side, so one of the first books that um, that I got. This was actually bought for me um, many, many years ago, uh, about 10 years ago, and um, it's called Super Crochet Wonderful, and it's by uh, Narumi Ogawa. So I don't, I've actually tried to research some of these designer names, um, but I've been un unable to find them online. So if you do know where I can find these designers online, that'd be, that'd be really useful. Just let me know in the comments below. But this book is like funky crochet animals and things. And it's a really, it's called Mr. Funkies, which I loved. And this was like my first introduction to sort of amigurumi. And um, I remember trying to, I think I made one of these, one of these little characters, which was, because I absolutely loved the, um, the imagery and they've put all these sort of cartoon pictures over the top. Now this video is not um, a promotion for any of these books, it's not an ad for any of these books. These are books that I've all purchased myself or been bought for me um, by friends and family so <laughs> this is not um, a review really or um, advertising in any way so I'm not trying to like surreptitiously uh, show you anything. Now I don't know if you remember um, I designed um, a bear that was very similar to this monkey which I made. Uh, I didn't design, I made rather. Um, it was obviously this pattern is someone else's, it's not something I shared. And they'd done a cat version as well and I did a bear, ver uh, a bear version and, uh, and it was absolutely horrendous because it came out in some really crazy colours and because that was all the yarn I had at the time, I had some really old yarns. Um, but this is quite an interesting book because it's actually got the um, written pattern but it's also got charts as well. But one of the other ones I made, I remember making, let's see if I can find it. Uh, some really, really cute pictures. So sweet. Uh, it was this little, this little bunny, bunny in a dress. And I remember making, making this and I remember being really proud that I'd followed a pattern and I'd made it and stuff like that. So, um, and it turned out, it turned out okay, I think. Um, I'll have to, if I find an image, I'll put it over the top of this video of the one that I made, but it's super, super adorable. Funky, funky, funky. So yeah, so that was um, a book that I bought many years ago, or was bought for me, I can't remember. It's got 30 crochet patterns for amigurumi animals and accessories, and really cute illustrations. So that's Super Crochet are Wonderful by Narumi Ogawa. And the a book, that this is a really interesting book because this was a book that um, my husband bought me actually when I started thinking about writing my own crochet patterns. This is actually a self-published book by um, someone called Phoebe and um, I don't know if you can even get these books anymore, I have no idea, but I thought I'd show you anyway. Um, but I found this really useful and because it's a really detailed introduction to getting started with pattern writing. I've often thought about writing my own one now but um, I just don't have the time or the uh, hours in the not enough hours in the day to do it but it talks about all the different things to think about. It's a very text heavy book but it's um, it's all the things you've got to think about before you begin to create categories, studying changing crochet scene, what makes a professional pattern and it was really useful and it's got all sorts of things from look at the end of an index you can find an index of some of the things 
Here we go. So she talks about the business of crochet and introducing you to um, what to do before you create, um, how to get your inspiration flowing, some principles and things to think about. Um, and what else she's got on here? This camera's in the way to show you. Pattern writing practice, all about photography. How to submit to publishers and um, and just some basics um, on how to sort of put your own sort of patterns together. It talks about all sort of sizing to think about and um, different terminologies and things. So, so yeah, so I found this really, really useful when I first started designing a decade ago. <laughs> um, so you might find this useful as well. Um, I don't know if you can still get this book, but um, yeah, so that's by Phoebe. Uh, a useful book if you're thinking about um, designing and starting to write up your own patterns and it might make you think that oh I hadn't thought of doing that or oh, that's a really good thing to add. I remember one of the things I, I thought of adding was um, yarn weights that I just didn't even put in my patterns to begin with. A um, little image of the yarn weights. Um, I was always writing like DK or worsted weight or something like to actually put the yarn weight number and just little things like that that can be useful and helpful to um, people reading patterns. So um, yeah, so I remember that being quite invaluable. So another book that I bought um, for even longer than 10 years ago, a really a really old book, is this one uh, by Afya E. Bomo called Get Your Crochet On Hip Hats and Cool Caps. And what I loved about this book is the fact that these designs are just seem to me a lot more contemporary than some of the old sort of granny styles that, uh, that were around at the time. Uh, this designer, I've tried to find her on the internet. She does have a website. Um, I'm not sure if this is like, still valid, but Get Your Crochet On Dot com. So this is the lovely lady here, the lovely designer, and she has her crochet creations have adorned such hip hop rap soul artists, and uh, she is also a member of the Crochet Guild of America. So, and uh, these designs I absolutely love, some of them especially. And um, let's have a look at some of her designs for this book. And I think this, I'm not sure if this book's still available on Amazon. You'll have to go check, but. Uh, but um, so yeah, so this was one of the. Um, I love that photo. I love that photo. It's so beautiful. Some really gorgeous designs. Getting started. So she's got all about the um, different yarns and teaches you about some of the basics um, to get to get yourself started, uh, which is really nice. She talks about different crochet hooks and uh, hook sizes and all that stuff and uh, she talks about materials and suggestions for things which is really useful so it's not just about the patterns it's a real introduction to crochet as well so if you're looking to make hats and beanies and stuff this is a brilliant book and uh, let's have a look at some of her designs so she's talking about color charts and everything it's awesome so this book was really invaluable to me uh, in the early days i mean it's got all about the uh different stitches as well. So so many books, des designer books, they just have straight straight up patterns, but this is really good for beginners as well. So if you've never crocheted before, um, this is a really good intro book. So it's even got about crocheting in rows, crocheting in the round. So it's really, it's quite a thick book. So it's quite in depth. So let's have a look at some of her designs. Da, da, da. So she's got everything about finishing products and everything different edgings and stuff. Absolutely love these designs. It's good to have some for guys as well. So many patterns out there. They seem to be very female orientated so it's nice to see different designs for different people. So yeah, so she's got some really, really cool designs. So patterns. So I won't share some of the patterns, I'll just show you some of the photos of the hats because I don't want to like, I want to go buy the book. <laughs> I was trying to find the one, where was my favourite one? I can't remember which one was my favourite one now. I honestly haven't looked at this book for such a long time. So it's quite fun, it brings back a lot of memories of when I first started. It's like, I love that, absolutely love that. That's really nice. It's like Granny Square Beanie. 
So it's got loads of different designs. Got caps as well. So yeah, so if you like the look of this book, I'm still trying to find the one that I really loved and I can't find it. It might have been this one actually. It might have been this design, which I really liked. I can't remember. But I love that one. He looks cool. <laughs> so yeah, so that is a, um, that's Get Your Crochet On, Hip Hats and Cool Caps by Afia Ibomi. If you want to go check that out, that's a really awesome um, book that I have as well. So uh, moving on to the last book that I bought when I first started. This was actually bought um, for me by someone in my family and it's actually an English Japanese crochet book so this is a Japanese crochet book but it's written in English so um, I don't think I've actually made anything from this book but I absolutely love this book so and what's interesting about this book is actually um, they in Japan they don't um, write up patterns they tend to have chart patterns so you're gonna find things like um, So they tend to separate their books out into the imagery at the front and then you just have all the stuff at the back. So they tend to um, use chart patterns in Japan. So this was a brilliant introduction to get me used to visualising crochet patterns um, in, in chart form and all the different stitches. This is quite educational in that sense and what's great is it is written in English so you can understand and learn as you go. But some of the designs in here are super adorable really really cute little things little projects that you can make quite small projects cute little cushions and bowls and things very very simple but beautiful projects so um so yeah so i really love this book as well even though i've not made a thing i might have made something i might I think i might have made one of the jewelry or something i can't remember it's been such a long time but yeah so that is um, Kyoto Japanese crafts lacy crochet um, book and that is by I don't actually know who this is this doesn't seem to have an actual designer designer's name Chronicle books happy crafting who is this by savvy crafters da, da, da can't actually find an individual designer um, it's got the book design cover design artwork English translations hmm so I would imagine the projects are designed by a Japanese person but I don't know if it's this up here Kwai Rezu Amizaka I don't know so I can't find a specific, can't say that word, uh, designer for this book. But um, yeah, so that's Kyoto Japanese Crafts Lacy Crochet. Cute. So there we go. I think you can get this. You can always go to chroniclebooks.com and check that out. You might be able to get it on Amazon as well. If you're interested in learning about chart patterns. And another one, actually, no, this, the next one is actually a Japanese book. Now I have got... A lot of Japanese books, uh, crochet books, because um, I love going to Japan and when I'm there I love buying as many crochet books that I can find because they have some of the most adorable designs. And one of my favourite publications is called Apple Mints. And if you haven't heard of Apple Mints, then I highly recommend checking them out. Um, obviously, these books are all in Japanese, so there's no English translations at all. So. I, I think even if you don't understand Japanese, I think that you can um, understand these books. Um, but they've got some absolutely beautiful designs in some of their books. Um, where's the one in particular that's got little food items? This is so cute. So this book is, so there you go, it's by Apple Mints. And I know they're on Instagram if you want to go check them out. I actually follow them so you can actually go to who I'm following and find them. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description to their Instagram page. So obviously we've got some, um, there might be some designer names, individual designer names, I don't know, on these. But this one's really, really cute. This is from, I can't even say which specific, I can't even read this. 
miniature, ah, miniature sui, sui, something like miniature, miniature sui, sweets, food, and food, so miniature sweets and food, and uh, so my Japanese reading is horrendous. Um, but yeah, this is really cute because not only do you have like sort of typical Japanese um, food like sushi and stuff, but you also get some really cute um, just generic things like the sort of like French bakery type things or sweets and desserts. Um, I love I love the categories as well. You've got like the um, the restaurant section of the types of little parfaits you might have. You've got a little bakery section here with donuts and bread and croissants and things and um, and then you've got the sweet little ice creams little cute little Swiss rolls and things the sushi section a little bento shop I mean how cute is that with a little basket it's absolutely adorable and uh, I love this book but I have yet to make anything from it so um, I think I, I'm a bit of a hoarder of these sort of books and I absolutely love the photography as well. So cute. So it's really, really inspiring. I and mean, I, I don't design these sort of things. So when I buy books, I tend to buy books for things I don't design. Um, kind of like so I can enjoy it more. And uh, rather than feeling like I have to do something similar. And it's so cute. Little cute key rings and things. Very, very sweet. So yes, if you want to go check out, um, oh, it actually looks edible, it looks so tasty. <laughs> so you want to check out some of these a really cute little um, um, Japanese books, then I think some of these are different, um, but the majority of these are by Apple Mints. Um, so yeah, if you want to go check those out, they're, they're really good as well and I've got so they're all quite similar like the miniature ones and then I've got this baby one as well which I think I bought separately in Japan somewhere again these this is all completely in Japanese and it's all chart patterns so this is if you've got used to chart patterns and then this is something that you can just go straight into and try and get your head around it is a bit a bit is it is a bit of a mind meld um because obviously um there is a lot of Japanese involved as well and there could be some really important instructions to do with it so um, but yeah if you can get your head around that and you do even if you understand Japanese then uh, this is a really sweet book it's got some really cute designs which I also haven't made any of yet <laughs> so I have all these gorgeous books and I think I just hoard them like I said but yeah, so, um, but that is the last of my crochet books. Um, hopefully it might inspire you to go check out something different, try something new. So yeah, these are the Japanese ones which tend to use chart patterns um, by Apple Mints and other, I think that's, I'm not sure which this company is. Not sure, there might be some different companies there as well. But this is kind of like a crossover, so this is like, got the chart patterns but it's written in English so it's not in Japanese so if you want to get into learning Japanese crochet and ch using chart patterns then this could be a good introduction book for that if you wanted to try and uh, yeah and these other ones here for like the hat designs and then some amigurumi and then obviously um, the last one learning how to you know how to write crochet patterns it might be really useful to you but uh, yeah that's all from me in this video um, like I said, I am working on a crochet along, um, so that's starting on the 1st of uh, July and uh, I'll put a link in the description below to a little sort of registration form if you want to keep up to date when those patterns and video tutorials will be released and um, you don't have to. I will be releasing a video tutorial I think probably like twice a week. Um, there's going to be, it's for, um, I haven't even said what it's for. <laughs> It's for some summer bunting, so uh, the um, crochet line is going to be made up of lots of different bunting triangles and um, you can make as many or as little as you like and they'll start off um, the easiest first and then they'll gradually get harder and harder and harder. So, um, but I could show you some of them now actually, I think I've actually got some behind me. My kitchen is a mess at the moment. So these are some of the, ask me about the way, this is some of the designs that I've got for the crochet long, some different bunting designs. And we've got granny square, horizontal stripes, and I think there's a vertical stripes one as well. So there's some of the easier ones. There's like these diamond shaped one here. 
and gradually it gets a little bit more complicated we've got like a tassel one here and there's going to be a strawberry one and there's going to be a flower tulips one and the hardest of all is my crocodile stitch grapes one as well so these are all the patterns i will be sharing very very soon so uh, stay tuned for that until then i'll see you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching and i hope you found it useful <laughs> bye